All right. You're looking for Ziggy. He's wandering around the cabin one just now. He's looking for something. What do you know for Xion? Intelligence Bureau investigation has confirmed that Gnosis with stronger battle capabilities will appear. To counter this, you have permission to remove the seal on Cosmos' battle technique program. Cosmos is now able to use a new technique, our drill. Okay. The conclusion the inference machine reached was that Cosmos' original battle capabilities are needed against average Gnosis battle capabilities. It's getting more difficult to handle the appearance of Gnosis with higher battle capabilities. I agree. I bet the most powerful Gnosis realize this and devise some sort of scheme. This will require proper, proper handling. Remember that the technique attack, the tech attack R drill that you got permission to use must be set in a slot in order to use it. Yes, I know. Chef Christmas in the party at the moment. I said it was in one of the cabins, right? Momo. King Ziggy? Ziggy, please wait a minute. I found him. He just got off the elevator and is walking down the corridor below. Oh, you really heard amazing. Oh, she can just find him. Yeah, so she's got it. observational reality, huh? She just scanned for him. <laughs> That's handy. Alright, so he's downstairs. <laughs> I forgot what that button did. Oh, we could try and upgrade our gear too. Excuse me, these items respawned. At one time, the items from all the explodable, explodable objects like came back. I don't know how often that they refill themselves.
this chair. Oh, Ziggy. <clears throat> what is it? Commander Shurinkov is missing. Will you help me look for him? The commander, he's a soldier, so you should have training of that sort. I do not think you need to be overly concerned. But the captain said this is a bad place for military personnel to wander around, so I'd feel more secure if you were with me. All right, in that case, I'll help you. Better safe than sorry. Oh, we have Ziggy. If we can buy gear upgrades. I don't know how much money we have. Alright, so we only have Himlock do. It sets an ally's HP to one. Interesting. I know why you'd want to do that. I guess we need to leave. We probably need to head to the, cap the catapult. Side of the ship. I'm going to go back up to the bridge again. I don't, I don't remember where the actual exit to the ship is. <laughs> oh, there's an airlock. Okay. I remember that. We've never been in there, obviously, because that would be. Not somewhere you want to go when you're out in space. Generally. Number eight. We still don't have that one. That's the chest from that, probably. I think the airlock is to the left up here across from the save point. Let's hit the save point up before we head for it though. Okay. 
And then I guess we'll go to this uh, space dock or wherever we are and go try and save Cherenkov. Who's probably not actually a good guy. <laughs> I don't know. Alan is crying over his food for some reason. No matter what I say, he just blubbered at me. It's really annoying, so I'm leaving him behind. Oh my god, like, everyone hates Alan. <laughs> I feel like this whole game, all the characters are just dumping on Alan. Well, let's start looking for the commander. You should split up and look for him. I'll let you know when I, as soon as I find him. I haven't seen you guys around before. Is this your first time here? Don't look so worried. We'll do a good job servicing your ship. Get some rest while you're here. The girl named Ludie at the clinic refuses to talk at all. I was being nice and said I'd play with her, and she's such a brat. Connie was once a Realian nursery. After the war, the pier was remodeled into a dock. Many refugees came flooding in, probably because of the favorable location, but now it's practically treated like a den of outlaws. Who the heck are you guys? You guys are an odd bunch to come to this rundown dock. The army made a huge mess here during the Milshin conflict. There's nothing of interest here. Why was this facility targeted? What? You don't know? 14 years ago, a Realian, a Realian in service went crazy in this star cluster. That's why. The nursery? It's already been abandoned. Interesting. My husband's love of fishing is such a problem. He goes fishing every chance he gets. It's really an addiction. The other day, we lost a tool called a fish detector or something. He was so depressed. Well, I'm thankful, though, since he won't have to hear his fishing stories for a while. What? Have I seen a commander walking around? Hey, this is the wrong place to be talking about the military. Don't you know anything? They came and destroyed everything without discrimination just because this was a reality nursery. Military and public officials are the scum of mankind. They started the war on their own and then dragged us into it. It's because of those good-for-nothings that I live like this now. Yeah, they're not well-liked here. Hey, you there. You better be more careful or you're going to hit some... ...thing. Oh, man, I did it again. Well, it's got so many dents and scratches already, no one will notice another one. What's the matter? Why the long face? Stick loot these people. All the people here either escaped from the Milshin conflict 14 years ago or recently ran away from the Gnosis phenomenon. But even after all they've been through, they're living as best they can. I also come here when things start to get to me. You gotta see everyone's faces make me feel like I gotta keep going. You people better do your best too. <clears throat> what do we got here? Talk to me! Alright. Just talk to me. We should talk to them. I want a dollar for every time I say poor Alan. <laughs> Went through some awful times during the war. The establishment of the Milshin Charter after the war was our saving grace. Would have been wrong to treat the Realians like murderers. Oh yeah. I heard the Charter passed through the Parliament because the Executive Committee Director of the Federation Government at the time pushed it through really weird. There used to be a pink ghost doll on the ship. Where'd he go? It broke really easily, so maybe he got thrown away. Actually, the pink doll speaks. It broke easily, but if you spoke to it kindly, it would tell you all sorts of things. If you happen to find it somewhere, please be kind to it for me. Interesting. I don't think it was some bigwig from a large corporation. Look at this humongous gun to the side there. The selection here is the best in Dock Colony. I can even get my grandkids diapers here. The world's certainly become a convenient place. Unfortunately for Alan, Shion has a type and is not Alan. <laughs> That's her type. Like, she doesn't have a type that is different than Alan. Her type is not Alan. <laughs> hey, hell you blind? Welcome back to the stream, man. We have everything from AGWS beam cannons to toilet paper. He is ready for pandemics, guys. What do you need? Uh, everything, apparently. Navy gloves? Oh, this is chaos and Momo only items. 
Interesting. All line hit Ziggy's missile pod. That sounds cool. We spent a lot of our money <laughs> doing like the drill game and stuff. tuning here too oh my god i just bought i just tuned my gear and then there's a better tuning immediately i shouldn't have done that look at this that's sad talk to this guy. It looks like a shop of some sort. Hello. I'm going to address number two. <laughs> Are you enjoying life? <laughs> okay. Interesting guy. Say, have you heard about the planet disappearance incident? Yes. The truth of the incident is still a mystery. I can't believe that a planet could disappear without a trace. Right? Pretty weird. fishing thing again. I guess there's a fish detector we can find somewhere, maybe. We're not gonna worry about it right now. I made a mistake and put it in the tuxedo pocket and sent it off to the cleaners for the foundation. Oh. Okay, so we know where it is, sort of. Tuxedo. I wonder if there are any, um equipment items in this game that change what your characters look like. Ludi used to live on Ariadne. Ariadne is the planet that disappeared, I think. Until just recently, yeah, when the planet disappeared, she moved to the colony. Her mother and father disappeared with the planet, so she lives with a doctor now. Oh, man. What is it? Turn and cough? <laughs> You're not the doctor. Very Not very nice of you trying to play tricks on an old man. Oh, hello, tourists. Yeah, right. There's no way tourists would be visiting a place that was forsaken by the government. Besides, there are any tourist attractions here. But all the people here are good people, of course, including me. Well, you're looking for a soldier? You gotta be kidding. I don't know anything about a good-for-nothing soldier. Well, I wouldn't tell you even if I did. He's probably lying dead in some alleyway. Public officials and military people are trash. Trash. No better than trash. No better than trash. Rudy used to live on a... I okay, guess the same thing. Please stay and see... Do your name is called. Hmm. I'm not here to see the doctor. Goodness, someone injured? Or someone with an acute illness? We don't need anyone here except the sick. Go on, get out of here. 
<laughs> it's like, you're not sick, get out. Oh, are you okay? You seem tired. I could treat you if you'd like. Not to worry, this is a hospital after all. No, I'm good. Poor little thing. Such a darling girl. She went through such an awful tragedy. Now she can't talk. The doctor here is a quack. So he can't even cure her. Who the heck are you guys? You need treatment? Take a seat and wait your turn. This little girl. Ludie. Yeah, her parents were on the planet that disappeared. Now she doesn't talk. Just bother her until she talks. Come on. Come on. Talk. 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 All right. I guess she doesn't talk. Worth a try, right? <laughs> You don't come in here without permission. Drink off. You're looking for a soldier. You better give up and leave the colony right away. If you don't, you won't get away scot free either. Is that a threat? She's warning me. Hmm. Okay, well, he's not in here. Go back to the ship, maybe? Like, I don't know if there's anybody else, anywhere else to go here. He's already come back. Although I didn't get a cutscene, so that's not a good sign, I guess. I don't want any trouble, so hurry up and go find him. Wow, oh, trust like a marine. What is he crazy? Didn't have any trouble finding him. He'll stick out like a sore thumb. I guess I'm blind. <laughs> go try again. Oh, okay, here's something. I've been down here before, haven't I? Have I not? Maybe I haven't. There he is. Scum. Oh, what the hell? The symbol from the Zohar emulator. Oh no, get back down there. I want to see that. Oh, was it not happening over here? Shit. Elsa Von what? I think it was the Elsa. It's Elsa Von something. These planets vanishing, no disappearing with the universe is becoming a chaotic place. And with all this commotion, I don't have any time to rest. Then again, thanks to that, I can put food on the table. The only reason I was interested in the name is because, um, Ellie was what, Ellie Von Houten or something like that? Elsa could be like Ellie, right? Elsa, Ellie. And now there's a Von. And it cuts off before you can see the rest of it. Suspect. No, I think they've always just all the other stuff in the ship just said Elsa, didn't it? And check the database. Oh, you were here on business. Not that we have anything that makes anything worth seeing here, but please make yourselves at home. Check the database. Um, that would be in my items, maybe. Hmm. 
High velocity interstellar cruiser. It just says Elsa here. Name Elsa comes from the heroine of Wagner's op opera. Okay. And it just says Elsa. No, I said Vaughn. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of information in here that we haven't been told, actually. Ooh, Wells Aliens. Refers to the octopus-like Martians invented by H.G. Wells. Oh. In-game reference to a comment that Xion makes regarding Alan's stubbornness. You're usually so hard-headed with your logic and preconceptions, it's a little worried that you become one of the Wells aliens. She was talking about H.G. Wells. Okay, I thought she was talking about, you know, the Vels. Like... That's, 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 that's... They're just, they're just teasing you at that point, right? Like... <laughs> The word originates from Zohar, Book of Splendor, a cent central literary work of the Kabbalah. Interesting. Is there anything else that jumps out at me? Oh, here we go. SOCE, Subcommittee on Close Encounters. That's what that stands for. A panel of researchers convened to counter the Gnosis phenomenon. William Misrahi's Momo's creator is one of the seven members. Wait, 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 wait. I thought her husband was Momo's creator. This says she is. Species Preservation Act, a law enacted to or in order to revive the human race, which had degenerated due to the harmful effects of the Life Recycling Act. The purpose behind this legislation was to preserve and propagate a pure breed of humans that was untouched by genetic engineering, cloning, or organ enhancements. Interesting. There's one about telepathy. Up UTIC, that's a good idea. The UTIC organization. Official name Unknown Territory Intervention and Creation Agency. Unknown Territory Intervention and Creation. An agency connected closely with the Milchen conflict, references of which are made throughout episode one. It was buried in obscurity for decades but reappeared in TC 4767, which is when the story begins. 
an independent organization not associated with the Galaxy Federation, it nevertheless boasts a level of technology and military force that far surpasses those of the Federation government or military. What? Its origins can be traced back to Mizrahi Neuroscience Institute, which means that Joachim Mizrahi is the agency's founder. However, the connection between him and Margulis is yet unknown. So the guy that made Moa was the founder of UTIC? And they're tied to this Milshin conflict, which we haven't entirely learned about. It seems like the Milshin conflict has to do with, like, a Realian turning on a human and starting a war or something. I I'm not entirely sure. We haven't really... People have, like, sort of mentioned it offhand, but they don't really talk about it directly. The Species Preservation Act is a law enacted in order to revive the human race. We saw that one. What was the other one? The one that it was trying to undo. Oh, that's the one. Oh, hey, hey, it's got the one for Pesh, the French for Peach. Yeah, I looked it up already. <laughs> um. Aroma, this term can be found in both human and and Gnostic doctrine. Although we will not reveal any answers at this point, it may be of interest to delve further into this concept. It may offer a glimpse of things to come in the future of Xenu Saga, or it may provide some insight into the various themes that appear in the current story. Okay, I'm... One second. <laughs> you can't just drop something like that on me. Let's, uh... Pleroma. In Gnosticism, it's the spiritual universe as the abode of God and the, totalitar the totality of the divine powers and emanations. Okay. The totality of divine powers. What does Young have? Um... Well, that's interesting. One second. I want to see something. Um, Xena Saga. Carl Jung used the word in his mystical work, Seven Sermons to the Dead, first published in 1916. According to Jung, the Pleroma is the totality of all opposites. Okay, I, I don't know, that's not super helpful. <laughs> we'll figure that out later, I guess. Plan 31, codename for an order given into the UTIC organization's 474th Special Operations Fleet. I want to talk for a second about the fact that they have a 474th. Holy crap. They said that their military might was bigger than the government's, basically. Seems to refer to the certain actions related to the capture of the Zohar. We hope to resolve this mystery by the time Junior is introduced. <laughs> I love how, like, some of these, like, database entries are, like, straight up talking to you, like, you know, you'll find out about this in a later episode, or you're going to find out about this before Junior is introduced, or, like, it's, it's like breaking the fourth wall on these ones this is to you not to the character nero when did nero get mentioned nadarajan system designed by kevin all right Momo, short for Multiple Observative Mimetic Organicus. She resembles his deceased daughter, Sakura Mizrahi. He designed her to look like his dead daughter? That's... That's not the best thing, honestly. That means that, like, Momo looks like Julie Misrazi's dead daughter, too, huh? That's 
gotta be hard. <laughs> All they'll tell us is that it's a set of laws enacted after the conflict. We're not gonna tell us what's in the charter yet. Also, Xion's birthplace. Yeah, we saw that earlier. They do give you extra information in here that you just don't get. He's intricately... So, um, this is uh, for Margulies. He is intricately connected to both the incident, which occurred 14 years ago, and the Milshin conflict. Interesting. And the Life Recycling Act. Passed with unusual speed and was voted into law the following year. In the age when the cyborg technology was at its peak, human resources were dwindling, and this law was intended for effective utilization of these resources. Remained in effect for 160 years. It expanded to condone human cloning, genetic, and neural engineering, and other procedures formerly considered to be off limits. Interesting. Vandercom! Rumor has it that he was on board the Waglinde to secure the Zohar. Whether he was the same officer who reprimanded Xion is as of yet unknown. Lake Turkana. Let's say the northern tip of Kenya. This is where they discovered the Zohar. Yeah? Lake Re Rudolph. Many ancient hominid human fossil discoveries were made at this site. Cherry brandy in the German language. Isn't that what she called like that other reality she had? Yeah, there was observational reality created by Joachim Mizrahi. For the purpose of collecting data for the prototype Momo. Interesting. Oh, what does it say about Alan? Although he is two years older than Xion, Alan is her junior by one year in the corporate hierarchy of Vector. He apparently comes from a wealthy family, but he does not share details of his background with anyone. His hobby is fishing. Interesting. He's 24. Chaos. Born unknown. Age unknown. Slender young man, his perpetually melancholic expression, as well as the depth and scope of his conversations, give rise to the impression that he hails from a higher plane of existence. As he volunteers no information whatsoever about his past other than his name, everything about him, including whether he even has any memory of his past, is unknown. His relationship with Matthews and the crew appears to go back for quite some time, and they all respect him highly. His translucent blue eyes and silver hair are particularly notable features. Interesting. Just the things they decide to tell you. I like this. Shurinkov, there is more to this man than meets the eye. Yes. That, okay. Yeah. <laughs> This one refers to the creator and all life created by it. God and man, man and realian. The man is like God to the realians because they created them. Anyways, we came in here to look at the Elsa. It doesn't say that the name is longer than Elsa, so we'll just move on. There's a mistake, you're sure Cook Chaos has green eyes? Really? I guess we'll find out the next cutscene with Chaos. We'll have to check it out. Oh, he has blue eyes. It's right there. See? Blue eyes.
They look greener on the model, but blue in the picture. You know? And she Shion's are kind of the opposite. Hers in the picture look greener and they look a little more blue on the model. <laughs> At least to me. Huh. Anyways. Moving on. 